Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back. First, I would like to start by saying um, um, I hope you got the chance to experience how exams run in our university and how Professor Sariski um, is. Uh, he, he, he is. He can be very, very harsh sometimes. He can be very easy at others. Uh, your exam is purely uh, your knowledge plus uh, your luck. Sometimes you, you, you study so much, um, but then just one small thing can, can, can lead to you uh, not succeeding. Uh, and other times you don't study at all. And then the, the luck plays in your favor and you get an easy question and you pass. Um, sometimes you study hard and you get hard questions and you pass. Sometimes you uh, study easy and you get uh, hard questions and you don't pass. It's just, it's just a lot of... Um, uh, situations that happen but my advice is always to stay on top of your studying uh, make sure that you're very good and very crisp clear with all of the points all of the pins all of the oral issues so that when you go whatever question is there you're there and able to tackle it okay um, without further ado I uh, wish you all uh, great success in the uh, upcoming exams and and today we're going to be uh, discussing the facial muscles and uh, what helps you um, have all of those face expressions as you smile, get angry, frown, or uh, feel sad, and, and those muscles help in initiating those facial expressions. Um, before I begin, also just wanted to note that the second part of the book, Dissection Room 1, is available right now for purchase. So if you'd like to purchase one of the copies, uh, please shoot me a message on my WhatsApp and um, we'll make that happen. Okay, so the face um, is a, um, most of the muscles that exist um, on the face, they lie in the superficial fascia, okay? They, they originate from bone, so, um, and, and they insert onto uh, the skin. There is no tendons when it comes to the muscles of the face, okay? Um, the, here it is, um, it says that uh, they arrange themselves into two groups, um, but I would like to arrange them into five groups according to what we learned with Sariski and some other sources, um, and I will dive into it later. And we have to know that they're supplied and innervated mainly by the facial nerve, and we have to know exactly what parts of the facial nerve innervate what muscles of the face, okay? Uh, this is just a general scheme of the um, mar markings of where everything lies. There's a lot of muscles within the face and we have to know all of them and separating them into five groups makes it easier for us to memorize actually. So I will do that in a second, but just for you to know, these are the uh, general names or the general uh, things present on the face when it comes to the muscles. There are three large ones. Um, mentioned here, buccinator, or orbicularis oris, and orbicularis oculi. The small ones are uh, many, so we have uh, compressor dilator nares, levator labii superioris, levator labii superioris obicnesi, zygomatic major and minor, um, and you will see how those are arranged once I dive into the uh, facial muscles. The, this book also contains uh, more about um, those muscles and details, um, you can have a look at it once um, you, you have it between your hands. Um, one second, sorry. Let's go now to dive into uh, the muscles and where everything lies. And then I will maybe show you what innervates them and what um, might be uh, their function, okay? So first, I would like to tell you that the facial muscles are separated into five groups. And those five groups, first we have the uh, head here, the head muscle, head and neck muscles here. So the head and neck muscles, we have number one here, the um, frontal belly of occipital frontalis. So we have the uh, mainly the frontalis muscle right here. That's the head and the neck is made up of the platysma. So 
group number one has the frontalis muscle and the platysmal muscle. And just know it's on two sides, frontalis, frontalis, platysma, platysma, okay? And I will show you what their actions are and I will show you how they're integrated. So number one, as we know, memorize them, frontalis, platysma, okay? Now, the second group we have is the uh, um, um, orbital group. Orbital comes from the orbital uh, uh, cavities that have the eyes. The orbital group is made up of three muscles. The first one we have orbicularis oculi, and this is the muscle that lines our eye in a circular motion, just seen right here. That's the first one. The second one we have is this one right here. It's called the depressor superculi. Okay, and if I hide this, we have the third corrugator supercular okay so these are the three groups uh, three muscles within the uh, orbital group um, of the face so we have number one we finished the head and neck and now we finish the orbital um, uh, group um, and now we're going to move on to the nasal group the third one the nasal group mm, just give me a second okay the nasal group is made up of Procerius, okay, the nasalis, okay, and finally, the depressor septor, septo, uh, septi nasi, okay, so these are the three that make up of uh, the, the nasal group, the nasal group muscle, so now we've done head and neck, we've done orbital group, and now we've done the nasal group, okay, now we're gonna go now into the fourth um facial muscle groups. The fourth one is the orbital, everything that lines the orbital, okay? Uh, the orbital, uh, the, the oral, sorry, the oral region. So we've done the, uh, the head and neck, we've done the orbital, we've done the nasal. Now we're going to do the oral around the oral area uh, around the mouth. So first we have um, a lot of muscles around the oral region, um, but then I will, I will divide them into uh, superior parts and inferior parts, and mainly the, the one that, that is present in up, uh, upper parts and lower parts. So in the, within the oral region or the oral group of the face, we have first the larger the largest one, which is called the orbicularis oris, okay? That's number one, okay? Uh, within the oral group of the facial muscles. Uh, then comes, we have the uh, upper part of the oral group. Uh, we start with um, levator labii superioris alic nasi. Then we have the levator labii superioris. Then we have zygomatic minor. Then we have zygomatic major. And then finally, we have the resorius. Okay. And these are present on both sides levator uh, labii superioris alic nasi, levator uh, labii superioris zygomatic minor, zygomatic major, and reserius, okay? The inferior group of uh, the oral group of the facial uh, muscles, we have three. Here we have the depressor labii inferioris, just like we have the uh, levator labii uh, superioris. We have the mentalis, and we have the depressor anguli oris, okay? So, uh, th these muscles make up the oral uh, region of the face, okay? Finally, we have the fifth group of the facial muscles. We have the uh, auricular group, and the auricular group is made up of three muscles. Um, they are the anterior, middle, and posterior. So this one right here is the auricularis anterior, the auricularis superior, sorry, not the middle, and the auricularis posterior. So anterior, posterior, and superior, okay? These are the muscles of uh, the face, just in a nutshell. Um, as I said, try as much as you can to remember those five groups of the facial uh, regions and what makes up each group. Just to quickly go over them and fast, head and neck, frontalis platysma, around the orbital region, orbicularis um, oculi, the um, 
depressor superculi and the corrugator superculi uh, underneath. Um, then we're going to do the nasal. We have the procerus, the nasalis, and the um, depressor septi nasi. That's the, the third group. Now we're going to do the oral. We have the orbicularis um, orus, uh, then the um, superior part uh, of the oral group. We have the levator uh, labii superioris aliknesi, levator labii superioris, zygomatic minor, zygomatic major, the rosarius. Then we have the inferior part. We have the uh, depressor labii inferioris, the depressor uh, the uh, anguli orus, and then finally the mentalis. And the auricular uh, group, we have the anterior, posterior, and superior. Okay. Uh, one more part of the facial muscle is called the buccinator, and it is one of the largest present. So the buccinator, the, um, the buccinator, the uh, um, orbicularis oculi, and the orbicularis orus. These are the three largest muscles within this. And the buccinator, if you want to take a look where it lies, I'll just hide the other ones here. Right here, we have the buccinator okay right here um is one of the largest uh, groups uh within the uh oral uh, region okay um so these are mainly the uh, muscles of the face um there are a couple more uh maybe uh deep within um but generally this is just a very good general idea of the facial muscles i would like to go over i've did i've done some notes um, as much as I can, but I would love it if you can uh, maybe check the um, um, how accurate those are. Um, I think these are right, but it is always nice to always check other resources. But what I know is that the facial nerve, um, these are basically my notes when I used to study, uh, the facial nerve from the uh, facial canal um, exits through the stylomastoid foramen to split into five branches. So remember that the facial nerve is in charge of innervating those uh, five uh, regions of the uh, facial muscles to help with uh, motor expressions on the uh, facial muscles. So the facial muscles divide into um, branches that innervate the muscles of the face. So first branch, we have the temporal branch, will supply the frontal muscle and the upper part of the orbicularis oculi. Okay, so the frontal part and the muscle uh, around the eye, the upper part of it is innervated by the temporal branch. The zygomatic branch supplies the lower part of the orbicularis oculi. So as you remember, we have the orbicularis oculi, upper part by temporal, lower part by the zygomatic branch of the facial nerve. The buccal branch of the facial nerve will divide into the upper part to supply upper parts of the uh, uh, orbital region. And the uh, lower branch will supply the sixth muscle called the buccinator, as I showed you. Uh, that's the function of the uh, lower buccal branch. And the marginal mandibular branch of the uh, facial nerve will innervate and supply the lower muscles that surround uh, the uh, mouth. And the cervical will supply the platysma. All right. Um, and, and these are just good general ideas of. Uh, what innervates what. Um, then I want you, if you're interested in what those muscles do, for example, I have just a general idea here of what every muscle does. For example, the orbicularis orculi uh, helps to whistle and open and close the mouth. So orbicularis orculi is around the mouth and it's circular, so it will help you uh, decrease the um, uh, diameter of your uh, mouth to whistle, for example. Labia, uh, levator labia super, superculi aliknesi. Um, Elvis move. So if you there's a there's a, an actor that that usually does this move right here, um, and they may, named him after him. Um, so that's the function of the uh, adiknesi, the vator labia superioris. Um, zygomatic minor, for example, uh, to, um, to smile uh, just around the corners, uh, and the major as well uh, for smiling. Rosarius causes fake smile. So somebody 
would give you a fake smile. That's the action of the rosarius. Um, anguli oris helps to frown, right? So the down ones would pull down, up ones would pull up to make a smile. Um, um, what else? Mentalis is here. So it helps us um, to contract the chin. Um, what else? Uh, for example, uh, orbicularis oculi closes the eye. Uh, corrugator superculi and corrugator uh, depressor superculi um, move eye medially and downwards. Um, nasalis dilate or constrict the nasal openings. Okay. Uh, uh, frontalis uh, lift eyebrows. Okay. Um, like that. So, so many of those you can just dive into them. I did not need to study the functions or the actions of those muscles when, when it comes to Sariski, but it's nice to uh, know it. And when you actually know where the positions are, you can get an idea of what they do. What else? Um, yes, so this is this is it for uh, probably our video here. Um, just make sure you're very comfortable with those uh, regions of the uh, face and always ask questions really to Sirisky about those muscles and what he expects. And please listen to him when he explains those things and write notes if you can during his lectures, because I don't want him to be um, um, failing you guys for things that you um, didn't say and uh, he pointed them out. So uh, always pay attention and hope you uh, guys enjoyed this video and found it intuitive.